hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here thank you so much for clicking on my video today's seed is a really really good one it's based off the law of attraction so i'm going to be doing a seven part series this is a series based off the law of attraction there's seven parts because there is seven components of the law of attraction the first one that i want to start off with is law of magnetism the law of magnetism is is a good one because basically it gets at the idea of your thoughts are a magnet your your behaviors your actions everything is like an, a magnet so your thoughts are basically sending out these magnetic signals these transmitters to the world and basically you are going to be getting whatever you put out so if you're having these thoughts that are bad if you're having these upsetting depressive thoughts these negative thoughts all the time and that's what you're putting out into the world and that's just what you're going to get back it was really really hard for me to grasp it i recently read this book called the secret it's a super super good book and it talks about the laws of attraction how the universe operates how when you're a good person good things will come to you and when you're not such a good person then not so great things happen to you I truly believe like I honestly went back and like traced times in my life where I wasn't so great or I didn't always say the nicest things to people because that happens we can get like that and I can honestly say that it corresponds with this law I know some people feel like it might be malarkey but after reading into it it's so true you're going to get out what you're putting into this world and that's why if you follow me on IG and Twitter I've been talking about a garden and basically the idea is that if you have this garden if you're not sowing seeds of wisdom charisma gratitude love your garden isn't going to be able to flourish with anything there's nothing to nourish there there's nothing to take root there's nothing to grow begin to walk in a more positive light stop being so negative stop harping on things that don't need to be harped on because that is the transmitter that you're going to put out i was telling a lot of people the other day it's basically like a tv now i look at it like either i'm gonna watch the happy show the mad show the sad show like i'm gonna choose whatever frequency whatever channel that i want to watch whatever i want to tune into because what i found is that whatever you're giving more attention to you know whatever emotion that is that's where most of the energy is going to go if you're angry if you y'all ever wake up in the morning you stub your toe and you kind of go on throughout the day then you might be late to work then you get to work your co-worker getting on your nerves and your co-worker getting on your nerves you be late to go on your break and you come back from break and it's an ongoing trend that an individual m may see if they if they allow themselves to see it when we writing in our journal understand what energies what frequencies are you putting in and someone once told me like i don't even i don't journal negative thoughts like i don't get me wrong those thoughts are there you know and that's why reframing is so good it's so critical because when we allow our thoughts to be reframed then we're kind of changing our mindset to be more positive when you go to a counseling session and the individual is you know they may say like reframe start reframing your thoughts or walking in a more positive light. When you begin to plant your seeds of love and gratitude and kindness, and I used to never understand why in the world, how in the world could someone be so happy all the time, 24 seven. And I used to think like, there is no way, but that's because my frequency, my channel was not tuned to what in the world I needed to be tuned to. It's a possibility. You can wake up and decide to be happy every day. If you practice gratitude and love, there's no way, there is no way that you will not be happy and walk in a more positive life. I'm not saying that things are not going to happen. Things are going to happen, but you have to figure out how I'm going to change my response to what this situation is giving me. What is this? What is it doing to me? Am I getting upset? Am I getting angry? And that's why it's so important to know your triggers, because once you know your triggers, you're going to know what certain situations may get you upset. It's almost like you're kind of like, you have psychic abilities almost. So for instance, I personally don't like when people don't listen to me. So me personally, I know and understand that I don't appreciate when people aren't listening to me. So you know what I do? I change the situation. I don't, I know that the response is gonna be there if I see this individual ignoring me or whatever the case is. So you know what I do? Then I just stop talking. I save myself the benefit of the doubt because I'm not gonna continue to talk and, and be 
you know, trying to get this individual's attention if they're not paying attention to me. So I'm gonna just stop talking because I know and understand that nothing good is gonna come out of me getting upset. If I do become upset, then I have my list. I have my coping skills. If you guys haven't seen my video on coping skills, please do so because it's so, 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 so important. No one is gonna be able to take your inner control because it's yours. It's something in you. It's an inner thing. Well, that just made me mad. No, that individual might have done something because they have the right to, but how did you choose to respond off of that, you know? Are you gonna continue to let things upset you? Or are you gonna continue to go through life and understand that people are gonna do things? It's my responsibility to understand this and what I need to do in response to this individual. Thank you so much for watching my video. As always, don't forget to tell a friend to tell a friend. Follow me on all my platforms at that Grovani on Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Really matter where we stay, don't pass, babe.